Yo and hello everybody, it's Mike, Baseball Collector, and I've got one card to show off that I got in the mail today, but today is primarily just to kind of tell you what's going on in my world. Uh, I'm really excited about tonight, I'm all geared up because I am going to the Rangers and the Yankees tonight. Pretty excited about that. Get to see Aaron Judge, Gary Sanchez, Gliber Torres, all those folks. CeCe Sabathia's pitching against Doug Fister for the Rangers. So, should be good. So far, they've split two games of the series. So far, uh, it's been a slugfest the last two games, last two nights. So, I'm excited to go to the game tonight. That'll be fun. Um, update on the contest. Uh, you still have a few days to... Put your submission in, either a comment on the video about the contest for my thousand subs or to do a video response and send me a link. But right now I'm at 99 people have submitted a response for the contest. So that's awesome. Hopefully we'll get over that century mark and we'll do that drawing uh, Sunday afternoon is when I plan on doing that. So that'll be cool. Uh, another thing that has happened, as you guys all know, back in February... If you don't know, we did a contest, I did a contest, I guess, it turned into more than a contest, where we voted as a community for the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. And it was a big deal. I mean, we had a 100 submissions for ballots. We had uh, an initial class of 10 YouTubers that were inducted into the class. And I decided to do something cool because I thought beyond more than just the recognition within the community, it'd be kind of fun to have something tangible. And so what I did was I talked to my brother and he kind of worked with a guy that he knows and we ended up doing some pretty cool looking little patches. So these are patches that every Hall of Fame member will get. Um, it's kind of got a baseball dude, a football guy, a basketball guy, and a hockey guy because we're non-biased on the sports, and if you get inducted into the Hall of Fame, if you've already been inducted into the Hall of Fame, I'm going to give these to you either at National, when I see you at National, hopefully we can hook up, or I'll mail them to you, because the initial class you'll get to, and I know, you know, we walk around shows, and we have, you know, we'll be carrying backpacks or bags or whatever, and I thought this would be a cool way, something you could put on your backpack or your bag to show that you are a member of the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. And look at this, I got a bunch of them. So we're gonna be able to use these in a, in a consistent manner for several years as we induct future classes to that YouTube Hall of Fame. So that's really cool. Um, second, or another thing, not a second thing, it's like the fifth thing I'm talking about, but uh, I am, embarking on an absolutely crazy project. I swear I think I've I'm out of my uh out of my gourd wanting to do this. But there is a PSA set registry for Hall of Famers in different decades, every decade. And what I've decided to do is to try to do the entire run for the 60s, 70s and 80s. Um I think that will be affordable uh, over time, uh, and doable over time. None of them are just crazy. Can't get them cards. It's not the fifties, which would include mantle rookies and maze and things like that. So sixties, seventies, and eighties in total, there are 1,537 cards within that set registry. Uh, over time in my collection so far, I already have 291 of them. So I'm already almost 20% of the way there. And I'm gonna try to get just collector grade or just basically try to find the best cards that I can get uh, for an affordable price to start filling that out. This is gonna take me a really long time, but, and it's only the tops cards, by the way, from the, uh, the base tops cards, it would include, it includes actually league leader cards if a Hall of Famer is on it, you know, multiplayer cards if, you know, you got more than one Hall of Famer on it. So it's a really pretty comprehensive set registry of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Again, 1,537 cards. Luckily, I have a great place right over there to store them all if I end up getting more and more into that. But I'm, I love Hall of Famer cards. I love slabs. 
this is just a great way. I've been kind of picking up stuff randomly and this gives me a little bit more of a focus. So here we go on that. Um, be watching for that. My goal is to maybe pick up five to 10 cards a week. Uh, and so it'll take me a long time to do it, but that's okay. I've got time and I'm excited about that project. So keep encouraging me. I need it. Then the last thing is I did get a card in the mail today and this isn't for <laughs> that big old master run of tops from 60s, 70s and 80s, but it is a card for my 1957 tops PSA set registry. And it's card number 25, and it's Mr. Whitey Ford. It's in a PSA 5, so a good collector grade for this card. Uh, it's a really sharp card. Love it. A uh, little off-center, top to bottom, but other than that, very nice-looking card. Happy to have it. It's another. I'm getting pretty close on the 57 now. So... As I do the 60s, 70s, 80s, maybe I'll go back to the 50s. We'll see. Uh, it, it's going to be a while, but I'll keep working on. I'm doing the 53 Bowman Color Hall of Famer set. I'm doing the 57 Top set. So I, I do have some 50s cards that I'll be picking up from time to time. As always, continuing my Hall of Famer autographs and various un, sundry other pro, pro, uh, um, projects that I'm working on. So that is it for today. Quick video, just kind of shooting the bull with you a little bit. Don't forget Sunday, be doing the contest drawing and also Sunday night, nine o'clock central, kind of late, but we're going to do beyond another episode of Beyond Cardboard with Nate, Tops 85401. So look forward to seeing you guys then. Have a great rest of your Wednesday and we'll talk to you soon. Keep collecting.